guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be taking you through my pregnancy favorites. The things throughout my first, second, and start of my third trimester that I quite literally could not live without, that have literally made me so happy, feel so whole throughout the course of my pregnancy so far. So we have food and drinks, we have bath and skincare, and we have clothes. We're gonna get to it all today. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. Let's start with food, the thing that right now probably makes me the happiest. So honestly, like I said to you guys, through my whole pregnancy, I have been trying to eat as clean as possible. I put the quotation marks around clean because listen, some days it looks really, really good, some days it doesn't as much, and that's okay. That's all part of it. So honestly, throughout the course of my pregnancy, I've really just been trying to fuel my body with the most nutritious foods as possible, but still allowing myself to eat all of the foods that I'm craving and that I want and that I'm in the mood for through the course of my pregnancy. So this is really the things that are like my cravings, my go-tos every single day throughout the course of my pregnancy. Let's start off with something that's not going to be a shock to literally any one of us. Sour candy. I feel like my entire pregnancy has been sponsored by sour candy. Look, the bag's open. That's when you know, because I was picking at them. Listen, Sour Patch Kids, anything sour, sour candy of any sort has been my go-to snack throughout the course of my pregnancy. I literally am craving them 24 seven. That is what I want. That is what I just, that's just what I want all the time right now. Sour candy, I don't know why, I don't know if there's a reason behind it. I don't know if I'm lacking something, so I'm craving sour. I don't know. I don't know what it is. But all I want right now, sour candy. And Sour Patch Kids, they do the trick for me. I cannot not have sour candy in my house right now. I just can't do it. Next up, we have buffalo pretzels. Listen, this is just one of the type of buffalo pretzels that I like. It's the Snyder's Hot Buffalo Wing Pretzel Pieces. I also like the like pretzel thin buffalo pretzels. So good. But I have just been craving the buffalo like hot spicy pretzel randomly throughout the course of my pregnancy. But this is one of the ones that like when I want it, I want it so bad and I literally could eat this entire bag in one sitting. My mouth will be on fire, my eyes will be crying and I literally will be like, yeah, this is amazing. This is delicious. This is what I wanted right now. Like I just, I just love it so much. It is just so delicious. Uh, Next up, we have these Outshine Popsicles. You guys know that I've been eating these basically every single night throughout the course of my pregnancy. I rotate between these and my little ice cream cones that I absolutely love. There is just something about these. At the end of a night, after I've been slumbering on the couch for probably an hour, that just tastes so good. They're like refreshing, they're sweet, they have a little bit of sourness to it, so I also think that's part of the reason why I like them. They're so freaking good. So absolutely delicious. They come in so many different flavors. Raspberry is one of my favorite. Then they have peach, they have strawberry, they have watermelon. I've tried them all. Some weeks we have a box with multiple different flavors and some weeks we just go with one flavor. This week's box was a raspberry. Absolutely obsessed. It is just so good. It is like refreshing, but also gives you that little like mm, eating a dessert at the end of the night. All right, moving into drinks. There's really been one drink that I have been just gravitating towards every single day and that are these Zevias. I am absolutely obsessed with it. There is just something that by the time I get to dinner, I just do not want to be drinking water anymore. I drink water all day. It's really the only thing that I drink. So by the time I get to dinner, I really do not want to be drinking water anymore. And these Zevias, they just hit the spot for me. They are a zero calorie soda. I am literally ob obsessed with them. The flavor that I like the most is root beer because I'm a root beer girl through and through. Like when I used to drink soda more, root beer would be my go-to soda that I would always pick. But they also have like a Coke one, a Dr. Pepper one, a Sprite one. They have tons of different flavors and different types. This one just happens to be my favorite. I also like this one because it doesn't have any caffeine in it. Some of them do, some of them don't. But since I typically drink this at dinner time, I don't really want any caffeine at that point in the day. And so it's absolutely perfect. But it's just that little bit. It has literally nothing in it. No calories, no artificial sweeteners, nothing. It is so good, so delicious. I am just obsessed. It's like literally bubbly, sparkly, flavored water. And last but certainly not least in this category, I have to give a shout out to my Stanley Cup. Listen. I didn't want to be this girl. I didn't want to be this girl who was obsessed with Stanley Cups because everybody else was obsessed with them. And so I was like, I don't need it. I have my Hydro Flask. I'm good. I'm content. And then Timmy, not knowing that it was super, super popular and trendy on TikTok because he doesn't have TikTok, bought me this for Christmas. And 
I'm not gonna lie, it's worth the hype. It is worth every single moment of the hype. It really is. I am just obsessed with it. I love that it has a straw that you could like sip on it wherever you go. I'm walking on the treadmill, take a sip out for a stroll, take a sip driving in my car. I don't have to like drink it like that. Like that's really nice. I do really like that it is dishwasher safe. That is a huge plus. Hydroflasks are not. And so this is dishwasher safe. So that is always really nice. It just, I feel like I drink so much more water because it's out of a straw. But my only complaint about it is that it doesn't close. So if it's just sitting here and I knock it over, which I'm a little clumsy now, so sometimes that happens. If I knock it over, it spills all over the place. I'm in the gym working out. Boom, knock into it, spills all over the place. That's my only complaint. I know there are some like knockout versions of Stanley's that do close up at the top, and I think I'm going to get one of those for like the gym and going out and about and kind of make this my like at home cup. But I'm absolutely obsessed and it's totally worth the hype. I definitely, definitely, definitely drink more water because of it. We are moving into the bath and skincare products now. So there, I'm really not a big like skincare, face care type of girly. You guys know that I had a long journey with face wash and that I used to just literally not do it at all and then I started finding products that I really liked and now I do it and so I really don't use anything extreme on my body I have super super sensitive skin where basically everything I put on my body has to be unscented or from sensitive skin or eczema safe specific brands and so it's really difficult for me to find products that I absolutely love that don't give me a bad reaction to my skin so when I find them I want to share them with you. So something that I've been loving recently is the CeraVe PM Facial Moisturizing Cleanser. I am absolutely obsessed with it. It is super, super lightweight. I like that it's a pump, so you just like open it up, pump it all out. I use this at night. I know some people use this at morning and night. There's also an AM one, but right now I don't really feel like I need to incorporate the AM one into my routine, but it's perfect because I was still feeling like even with my normal moisturizer from CeraVe, through the course of the night, I was waking up super, super dry, especially during pregnancy. That's when it really started to pick up. Before I was fine with kind of just their normal moisturizer, once I got pregnant, I felt like I needed a little bit more moisture through the course of the night. And so when I found this PM moisturizing lotion, I started using this right before I went to bed and I just feel so much better. I don't feel like my face is as dry when I wake up in the morning. I just feel like it gives it a little bit more hydration through the course of the night, which I really, really needed. So I am absolutely obsessed with this. This one is almost out and I really need more because she makes me very, very happy and I love her so much. No shock to literally anyone at all, but of course the bio oil had to make it into this video. So this is the oil that I have been using on my belly through the course of my pregnancy. For the most part, the biggest purpose of this is to prevent stretch marks. Listen, some people say stretch marks are genetic. Some people say you can prevent them. Some people say it's because of a lot of different things. All I know is that I love the way that this bio oil feels on my skin. Whether it prevents against stretch marks or not, I really just enjoy the way it feels. I feel like it's hydrating on my belly. I put it on in the morning and the night. So you, that's my personal preference. So I put it on first thing in the morning when I'm getting ready and dressed for the day and then I put it on at the end of the night and I definitely oil up a little bit more at night because I'm changing into my PJs so I'm like I don't care if a little bit more oil kind of like stays on it but it also has this kind of like rose water type of smell and it's absolutely I just love the smell of it it just is so hydrating and because my skin is stretching on my belly right now it often feels really really tight and so this gives it a little bit of hydration that it really needs right now and so I really like it so the preventing it stretch marks I don't really know to be honest with you I don't have any as of this point in my pregnancy is it is it because of genetics is it because I've been putting on bio oil? I really do not know. And really, whatever it is, it is. If I end up getting stretch marks, so be it. But I feel like I might as well use products that feel good and I enjoy. And if it helps prevent stretch marks in the process, so be it. Last but not least in this category, you guys know that up until I got pregnant, I was not a bath girly. I didn't take baths literally once in my adult life. I have not taken a bath in my adult life until I got pregnant. Now, I love baths. I look forward to my baths. I take baths twice a week now. Twice a week I take baths. Before I didn't even take them at all. Now I take it twice a week. I was doing all my research on like, should I be taking baths? Is it okay to take baths while pregnant? Basically everyone said, yes, it is okay. As long as the temperature is not super, super hot because you don't want your internal temperature to rise too much. I've of course been very, very careful on the temperature of my baths. So no one yell at me. 
and tell me that I'm doing something wrong. These are some of the products that I have been loving for the bath. So this is Dr. Teal's Pink Himalayan Epsom Salt. So I'm absolutely obsessed with it. So I have this one. And then I also have this version, which is basically the same thing. One just has a little bit more of a scent to it, and this one does not. This one says it e eases aches and pains, and it's fragrance-free, so I know my skin responds well to this. And then this one is Restore and Replenish, and this has some essential oils in there as well. My body has responded really well to both of these, even with sensitive skin. I was a little bit nervous about this one because I didn't know how it would do with the fragrances, but for the most part, it's literally been entirely fine. It is incredible the difference that it makes. And then to put with those, I have the bubbles to go along with it. So I have the bubbles for the foaming, to make it like a bubble bath. And then I have it in the other scent as well. So these are not entirely necessary, but they make the bath a little bit more fun. So it's not just like the water. It has bubbles and like foam and all of that to it. But the Epsom salts literally have been life-changing throughout the course of my pregnancy. I have had the worst round ligament pain and back and tailbone pain depending on the day through the course of my pregnancy. Some days it's worse than others. And on those days where I'm literally like, oh my God, how am I going to sleep tonight? I am in so much pain. I use these products. I go take a bath and I feel immediately better when I come out. It is the most amazing thing. I wasn't really sure how much it would actually work. And I was like, you know what? Might as well give it a try. Use them and I literally felt immediately better. It is the craziest thing in the whole world. 10 out of 10 recommended if you are pregnant and you haven't been taking Epsom salt bath and you've been having a lot of round ligament pain or back pain, definitely it's worth it. The Dr. Teal's brand has been incredible even with my sensitive skin, so I definitely recommend it. All right, last but not least, we are going to get into some of the clothes that I have been loving through the course of my pregnancy. Starting off with one of my favorite things that I have ever invested in in the course of my pregnancy, and that is PJ sets. The PJ sets that I have gotten have been from Target, and I've absolutely been obsessed with them. So I have this one, I have the matching shorts, of course, and then I also have this brown set, the matching top, and I am obsessed. I don't know what it is about PJ sets, why I love them so much, but there is just something at the end of the night after you've showered and you've done your whole skincare routine and I've oiled up my belly, I pop on a cute matching set of PJs and I feel like I could attack the world. I feel so prepared for bed. Like I said to you guys, I was not an evening, like I've said to you guys, I was not an evening routine person. I was a morning routine girly through and through. Since getting a matching set of PJs, I've become an evening routine girly. I still love my morning routine, but now I also love my evening evening routine because I love the cute little fit. I just feel so put together at the end of the night. It has just made me so incredibly happy. So listen, so sometimes I toss on a big baggy t-shirt and shorts and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I've just been loving a matching set. A matching PJ set from Target right now has my heart. The brand Pink Blush as a whole has been a brand that throughout the course of my pregnancy I have gone to so many times to find different outfits from. This is one of the outfits I got. It is the little jumpsuit that I wore for my sister's gender reveal and I am absolutely obsessed with it. I got so many comments on it. It is the cutest thing. I felt so comfortable in it. I am definitely going to wear it so many more times throughout the course of my pregnancy once it starts to get a little bit warmer out but the brand Pink Blush Maternity truly has made me so happy through the course of my pregnancy and has made me feel so good and has made me feel so confident in every single outfit that I've put on. The blue dress that I wore for my baby shower I got from Pink Blush. I wore a cute little skirt when I was away from Pink Blush. Like it was, I just have loved every piece that I have bought from them. I have felt so confident in it and I have just absolutely loved them. I think for maternity clothing. They are very affordable. Of course, there are cheaper options out there, but I think for the quality, they are very reasonably priced. I got a size small in all the pieces I have bought from Pink Blush Maternity. That was my pre-pregnancy size. So that's a size that I've been continuing to buy from their site. And everything has fit absolutely perfect. There hasn't been one thing that I'm like, ooh, I could have sized down. Ooh, I could have sized up. Every single thing has been absolutely perfect for buying it in a size small. I think pregnancy as a whole has just put me into a jumpsuit era because I just love jumpsuits right now. I love just being able to like pop on one little fit and it covers my entire body. So this jumpsuit is from Old Navy. I am absolutely obsessed with it. It is a tight jumpsuit. So it's literally like a spandexy material, like a legging material on your whole body. It has a little cross in the back. I am absolutely obsessed with it. It is so comfortable. It is not in their maternity. It is literally just one of their regular 
jumpsuits. I just bought it in a size up, so normally I would buy it in a size small. I bought it in a size medium, and it fits so comfortably, and I absolutely loved it. I just thought it was so comfy. I love the way it accentuated my bump. I am definitely the type of pregnant girly that wants my bump to be accentuated. I am 28 weeks pregnant now, and I'm just really, really starting to show, and so I have been enjoying showing off my bump as much as humanly possible, and so when I wear tight, cute little fits like this, I feel so cute that my bump is accentuated. I just feel really, really good and really, really confident, and that's what I want, and so that jumpsuit from Old Navy makes me feel so good. And then last, but certainly not least in this category is Vitality's Maternity Leggings. I have talked about these so many times on vlogs. I absolutely am obsessed with them. Their waistband on here is so high. So like this is where the waistband starts. This is where, and then this is how high it comes up to. So it's a very long waistband, which when you are pregnant is incredibly necessary because you want it to cover your whole bump. Especially for me, I am wearing some of my pre-pregnancy leggings and shorts still, and it's now getting to the point that my high-waisted leggings are not really high-waisted anymore because of my bump has gotten. And so wearing maternity leggings is really nice because it comes up above the bump, it comes up above your belly button, so it still has that high-waisted feel that you feel confident in. For me, I really like it because when I'm wearing those maternity leggings, I feel very held in, my bump feels really, really good, and then if I wanna still toss on a little crop sweatshirt, a little crop shirt, I can still do that because my leggings came up high enough that there really isn't a ton of skin showing still, and for me, I really like that. That's how I feel the most comfortable and confident. Sometimes, yes, I like to throw on the big baggy t-shirts, the big with my leggings and that feels great too but I really do like wearing the cropped look. When I wear my high-waisted maternity leggings I feel really good. They are a little bit pricey I would say but once again I think it's an investment and it's something that if you are going to buy one or two good quality maternity leggings I highly recommend Vitality's. I got my true size small in those as well. You buy your pre-pregnancy size and they fit absolutely perfect. I have worn them for weeks and weeks now and even as my bump continues to get bigger I still feel like there's more room for me to continue to grow in them and I really really like it I just feel so comfortable and so confident in them and I just feel like you never can go wrong with a staple black pair of leggings and right now those are it for me all right y'all I am going to wrap up the video here I hope you guys like this video I wanted to share the things that I have been absolutely loving throughout the course of my pregnancy a lot of these things are not pregnancy specific things but they definitely are things that through the course of my pregnancy have been game-changing for me whether it's all I've been eating all I've been wearing or all I've been using onto my body. These are the things that I've been using every single day in one way or another, and so I wanted to share them all with you. So with that being said, I am going to wrap up the video here. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please make sure you go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. You already know it supports my channel. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell notification so you don't miss another video that I post. It has been a hot moment since we have done a sit down video and it has felt really, really nice. And as we continue to get further and further into our pregnancy, we can pack my hospital bag together. We can have a lot more sit down videos and chat about my first, second, and third trimester. Like if you haven't already, make sure you follow me on my Instagram and TikTok so you can see the fitness health and lifestyle content that I post on there. And I will catch you guys here next time.